What's going on guys? My name is Bill. This is Tool Tech Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, I like to bring you guys tools. Tools that I've been using in these videos or that I've been using on projects just in and around the garage. If you're new to TIG welding or just kind of getting started in TIG welding, I'm sure you know how important it is to have a good clean tungsten. And part of that process is to have a good sharp point on that tungsten, right? Hopefully you can see that I'm trying to have the camera focus on just the tungsten and not me kind of difficult with one hand, but you get the idea. You want to have a good point on that tungsten. There's different angles of grind and all that, but what's important is that that grind is consistent and clean. Now you can use a flat wheel to grind that tungsten. You could use, you know, like a grinding wheel on a bench grinder, but the problem is, you really want to have a dedicated, maybe a dedicated flap wheel for that tungsten. You don't want to mix. You don't want to like use the same flap wheel or the same grinding wheel that you use for steel or aluminum on your tungsten. You really want to have something dedicated specifically for that. Now you can buy dedicated tungsten grinders. The problem is those things can get pricey. I believe when I was looking, they start at like 70 or 80 bucks and up, right? The really good ones, you can spend hundreds of dollars for a dedicated tool just to grind tungsten. But you can get a tungsten grinding attachment for a grinder. I have this one on my Milwaukee grinder. I did have it on a Dremel and the problem with that is I was always having to swap this out for different tools and I wanted to use my Dremel. So I just have, I just stuck it on my Milwaukee grinder. Um, this thing, I'll leave some links down below. Honestly, I, I don't remember who makes this. It's probably just some off brand, but it has a diamond, little diamond grinding wheel inside there. Hopefully I can get that to focus on the wheel and not me, but you can see that grinding wheel down there. It's a little diamond grinding wheel and this can, grind 330 seconds and 1 16th tungstens at two different angles, right? At a 20 degree and a 15 degree, which for most applications, there you can see on the top, maybe if I can get to focus again, there you can see the different grinding. It has little holes on the side. Focus on me or focus on the grinder, not me. There you go. And all you, get, all you gotta do what I like about this one, I usually chalk this up in my vise when I had it on the Dremel, but on the Milwaukee, I got a good, big, bigger battery on the base, so it just kind of stands here. And all you gotta do is turn this bad boy on and take your tungsten, put it in there. and you get a nice sharp point on there. This is really kind of, I wish I had two hands right now, um, but you get the idea. I think this bit or this attachment, like I said, I'll leave some links down below. I think this is like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. Really handy, it's especially, I'd rather spend the 30 or $40 for this one and 70 or 80 or on up for a dedicated tungsten grinder, especially when I'm new at this. And am I gonna stick with TIG welding? Probably, but let's say you're just getting started and you realize maybe TIG welding's not for you. I would rather have spent 30 or 40 bucks on this than maybe a couple hundred dollars on a dedicated grinder, especially for, you know, being new at this and not knowing if you're gonna really gonna wanna stick with it. Eventually, I may get a dedicated tungsten grinder, but for now, this has served me. I bought this when I started TIG welding. You can go back and look at all my, my TIG welding videos. I've been using this grinder the whole time. So for a few months now, and, and I'm still really happy with this one. I don't have a need yet for a dedicated grinder, something that can grind, you know, other sizes other than 3 30 seconds or 16th and at multiple angles. I don't need all that. This works just fine for my needs. 
and it probably will for a long time to come. And probably buying these little diamond attachment wheels are probably, again, a lot cheaper than a dedicated grinding wheel. We'll see, time will tell, but overall, for the past few months, I have been more than happy with just this right here. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, get back to work.